जय हिंद स्टूडेंट माय नेम इज प्रदीप एंड आई एम वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन आईटी डिपार्टमेंट इन अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज गाजियाबाद टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द सब्जेक्ट नेम बेसिक्स ऑफ डेटाबेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम एंड द सब्जेक्ट कोड इज के ओ जीरो सिक्स सेवन ओके सो टूडेज टॉपिक इज नॉर्मलाइजेशन so today's topic is normalization it is one of the most important topic of dbms one of the most important topic of dbms okay most important topic right so let's see what is normalization so normalization is used to minimize the redundancy it is used to minimize the redundancy from a relation or set of relation or you can say minimize the redundancy from the database it is also used to eliminate the undesirable characteristics like insertion update and deletion anomalies so it can add, um, you can say eliminate various types of anomalies just like insertion anomalies updation anomalies deletion anomalies it can eliminate them and minimize the redundancy next normalization divides the larger table into smaller table and link them using some relationship okay if we have some bigger table then we can divide this bigger table into some smaller table and these two smaller table are link okay so types of normalization basically normalization based on the functional dependencies so these are four types first is 1nf what first normal form 2nf means second normal form 3nf third normal form and bcnf boya code normal form so let's discuss one by one so first is first normal form so a relation in first normal form if it contains an atomic value if it contain an atomic value means corresponding to one attribute in one cell there is only one value okay it states that an attribute of a table cannot hold multiple values it must hold only single valued attribute so in normal form uh, it contain only atomic value and it contain only single valued attribute only so let's take one example so relation employee so here relation this is relation employee is not in 1 nf because of multi valued attribute employee phone so there is one employee relation it has attribute employee id okay it has the attribute employee id okay employee name employee phone employee state but see this one corresponding to employee id 14 employee name is john and there are two values there are two values so this is not allowed in first normal form so this is not atomic so this is not atomic value because there are more than one values so these are not atomic value okay corresponding to this there is only one atomic value consider this situation sham sham uh, id is 12 same and phone number 
so this is also not atomic number so to convert we decompose the employee table so decomposition of employee table into one and f has shown below so <coughs> we can write the records individually okay so employee id 14 john and there is first phone number and it belongs to up similarly corresponding to second employee phone number i write this record one more time but their phone number is different and this is up similarly harry is okay similarly employee id 12 there are two phone numbers so i need to write the records twice okay so this way we can convert uh, you can say non atomic value into atomic and now this table is in 1 nf this table is in 1 nf or first normal form i can also write this table is in first normal form first normal form okay next see the second normal form a relation a relation will be in 2 and f if it is in 1 and f and all the known key attribute are fully functional dependent on the primary key so what it means a relation will be in 2 and f if first condition is it is in 1 and f okay it will be in 1 and f and second is second is if all the known key attribute are fully functional dependent on the primary key okay known key attribute known key attribute fully functional dependent on the primary key so in short i write pk pk stands for primary key okay so let's see one example so in the given table the non prime attribute so here the relation is given teacher id subject and teacher age so here the non prime attribute teacher age so teacher age is the non prime attribute is dependent upon the teacher id okay which is a proper subset of a candidate key which is a proper subset of a candidate key that is why it violates the rule of 2nf so what it mean so i can you can say there will be no partial dependency there will be no partial dependency no partial dependency for the relation to be in 2 and f there should not be no partial dependency means partial dependency are not allowed so to convert the given table into 2 and f we decompose it into two tables so we decompose this teacher id subject and teacher age okay into two table so uh, corresponding to teacher id there is some values and corresponding to uh, teacher id subject and teacher age there are uh, another table so uh, let us see what is the meaning of partial dependency so suppose there is a uh, you can say some set of attribute a and this is b which is subset of a and it determine c okay so this partial set of attribute determining c so this a is the candidate key so this is not allowed in 
you can say 2 n f. So, here see we can uh, see here the teacher id chemistry and teacher age this uh, teacher age is dependent upon teacher id. So, this uh, corresponding to 25 there is value 30 corresponding to 25 there is 30 corresponding to 47 there is 35 corresponding to 83 there is 38 83 38. So, these two values are repeated ok and here teacher id is a proper subset of candidate key. So, it is a proper subset of candidate key. So, this is not allowed. So, here you can imagine that the teacher id <coughs> that teacher id ok and this is teacher age you can relate like this and this a is the candidate key and the candidate key is teacher id and subject teacher id and subject so teacher id is a proper subset of candidate key so this is not allowed so we can decompose this into two tables okay <coughs> so here this is the these two are the from the candidate key this teacher id uh, you can say partially determined teacher a so this is not allowed okay so in this table this teacher id is act as a candidate key and here in this this teacher id and subject act as a candidate key okay now the third normal form a relation a relation will be in 3 nf if it is in 2 nf and not contain any transitive partial dependency ok. There should not be any transitive dependency. 3 nf is used to reduce the data duplication. It is also used to achieve the data integrity. So, in simple I can say that a relation is in 3 nf if it holds at least one of the following condition for every non trivial functional dependency x drive y. So, suppose there is non trivial functional dependency x drive y. So, there is non trivial functional dependency x drive y. So, here x must be a super key. So, either x must be a super key, either this x should be a super key or or y is a prime attribute y is a prime attribute y is a prime attribute ok y is a prime attribute that is each element of y is part of some candidate key suppose so, what is the meaning of this first line? If A determine B, okay, and this B determine C, then A determine C, this should not be allowed. This partial dependency is not allowed, okay, in third normal form. So, here, what is the meaning of prime attribute? Suppose, suppose uh, there is some candidate key or primary key which contain the attribute a b c ok. So, the prime attribute are those attribute which are in the candidate key or primary key. So, what are the prime attribute? What are the prime attribute that a is prime attribute, b is prime attribute and c is prime attribute. So, these are the prime attribute. Okay. So, for third normal form x must be a super key and y 
uh, will be a prime attribute. So, let us see one example. So, here is employee detail table. So, it contains the record id ok. So, id is the id is the primary key id is the primary key this id it is the primary key. So, I write in short pk primary key this is underline ok. Now, here id determine name and zip and zip determine state and city. <coughs> so, what we can derive that if I did determine name and zip, so this zip is included ok and from the zip I can determine state and city. So, what it mean that from id I can determine name state and city because these two are determined through zip ok from id I can determine zip. So, this is not allowed. So, here primary key is id possible super keys in the table are id, id and name, id name and zip, id name zip and city and so on ok. So, here are the non prime attribute are state, city, name and zip and prime attribute are id. So, non prime attribute state and city transitively depend upon the primary key ok. So, this name and state this name and state is transitively depend upon id. So, it violates the rule of third normal form. So, this is this is not in third normal form. So, how we can convert? So, that is why we need to move the city and state to the new employee chip table with chip as a primary key. <coughs> so, here id name and zip ok these uh, five attribute are there. So, we make one table id name ok and zip ok this is one table fine and we know that from zip we identify zip state and city. So, in this two table we can broke this we divide this one big table into two table and here this zip work as a primary key in table 2 and here id act as a primary key right and these two attribute are related these two table are related through zip attribute and here zip act, zip act as a foreign key also right <coughs> so, this way we can divide this table big table into one small table. Next see the BCNF or Boya code normal form a table is in BCNF if every functional dependency x drive y if x is a super key of the table ok. So, suppose we have x drive y then this x must be a super key ok this must be a super key ok for bcnf the table should be in 3 nf and for every functional dependency left hand side is a super key. So, let us see one example let us assume there is company where employee work in more than one department. So, here id 264 264 id 364 and 364 countries India India UK UK and this two uh, employee having id 264 here is work in 
designing department also or in testing department also similarly similarly this employee having id 364 work in store department also or in development department also okay so here an employee work in more than one department so in the above table functional dependencies are as follow that from id i can determine country and from department i can depart identify department type and department number so here neither id is not a super key because we can identify only country and department is also not a super key so here id is also not a super key and department is also not a super key okay this is also not a super key okay so this is not in bcnf form so table is not in bcnf because neither id nor department alone are the keys so to convert the given table into bcnf we decompose into three tables so we decompose this table into three tables so here id corresponding to id we can identify country so here corresponding to id there is country okay so corresponding to 264 there is country india and corresponding to i can write there is one more record also corresponding to 364 there is country uk okay so here candidate key is id next employee department table so corresponding to department there is department time and department number so there are four department designing testing store and developing here department is the key next is the here candidate keys department here employee department mapping table here id and department both combinedly work as a candidate key these two is the candidate key okay here the candidate key employee id and employee department so here i can write the functional dependency as id determine country okay and this id is a candidate key and every candidate will be a super key also so this id is also a super key so department from department i can identify department type okay and department number okay so here department is also a super key third one is here from id and department here from id and department i can identify id and department so this is trivial functional dependency this is okay this is trivial functional dependency right so here id and department is also super key so all these three uh, satisfy the condition that left hand side um, must be a super key so this is now in three and a form okay thank you